Okay, Dr. Mintz here to show you a very simple basic case. Something I really find fascinating and if you take a look here in the bladder you'll see what it is. It's ureteral jets and just a very nice CT demonstration of the fact that emptying of, of urine through the ureters is not a passive process of gravitation. There is significant peristalsis and that urine is propelled through this peristalsis of the ureters and it squirts out of the ureter into the urinary bladder and this happens to be synchronized uh, coincidentally the left and the right occurring at the same time and crossing like crossed swords here in the ureter so these are jets of opacified urine, contrast of pacified urine, squirting into the urinary bladder that is filled with relatively low attenuation urine. Also a nice display of the ureter itself and how it can be nicely tracked on enhanced images much more readily than it can on unenhanced images and we have seen examples of how difficult that can be and it's easy to lose it even now in in some areas where there are adjacent vessels nice small caliber small caliber ureter nice homogeneous enhancement of the renal parenchyma bilaterally remember what pyelonephritis looks like always look not only for masses and stones but look at the pattern of renal cortical echogenicity on ultrasound and, and renal cortical enhancement on CT. Now this patient, I believe, was shot, yes. And here you can see the bullet right here has broken this rib. And the larger component of the bullet has tracked along superiorly and it's right here and if you look at where that is it's it, you can see that it's less than a centimeter away from the descending thoracic aorta and of course if it had penetrated the aorta the patient probably would have died okay and it's torn through the lung and produced a lung laceration and pleural fluid, which in the scenario of acute trauma like this, we would call hemothorax. And the opacification in the lung here, in the lung parenchyma itself, is probably volume loss from compression because of the fluid in the pleural space. In this case, we can actually see, to some extent, or I was going to say that there's a, hemo, a, a hemothorax, there certainly is a hemothorax, I thought we were seeing layering of the blood, but actually it looks like it's artifact since we see it outside of the chest there. Would you be surprised if there's a pneumothorax? Well, there is. No surprise, of course. A small pneumothorax there. Very important to pick up even when they're very small because if this patient goes into surgery and they have an anesthesiologist put them on a ventilator with increased pressure, they are at risk for developing tension pneumothorax and things of that sort. So very important for that information to be passed along. So just a nice, pretty much simple, straightforward case showing ureteral jets and some nice normal anatomy.